welcome back. I'm already the box auditor. I'm on my lunch break, so I rushed home. I got the notification saying that my Zobie box was delivered. This is the 2019 October Zobie box. This Zobie box is geared around movie memorabilia, autographs, lapel pins, art prints. Um, we also throw in Easter eggs and, and such as that. Uh, this was a $40 box. Uh, it sold out within less than 24 hours. Um, if you were a Zobie supporter, you only paid $32. And if you're an Audi the Box Auditor supporter and you used Auditor 10, you saved 10%. Um, the themes for this was Batman Forever, v Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Joker, and Zombieland. Now, uh, the Batman Forever was the 1995 uh, movie starring Val Kilmer. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer was the movie uh, came out in 1992. The Jokers get around the most recent one, and then Zombieland is the 2009 uh, geared around that movie, even though there is a new one coming out, Double Tap. So let's get into this. I'm excited. Um, like I said before, these sold out within less than 24 hours, so it'd behoove you to start either using the pre-order or jumping on it the minute it goes live on the website because it's, it's starting to get harder to keep these the minute they go live. So let's get into this. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited for the prop. I got my white paper. Got a little note here from JR. I uh, hope this month's box put a big smile on your face. Ha ha ha. Pretty cool. Um, I don't remember him showing us these little cards. Sneaky little bastard. That's pretty cool. I don't remember that in the meetings. <laughs> uh, let's do the pin first. So this the pin is geared around. Let me get it out of the pack to get the glare off. I was really hoping to get the other one too, but that's okay. Um, oops, this is geared around Zombie Land. Let me get in closer so you can see that detail. Now, these exclusive uh, two inch pins were inspired by Zombie Land, the 2009 version. They're designed by Corey Kaufman. Um, this is just the one of the other one. The other one was the variant. It says Tallahassee on it. Uh, being that I am from Florida and I'm only like 100 miles from Tallahassee, that would have been kind of cool to get. And I've got 224 out of. 325 solid well detailed pin good job Corey all right on to the next thing let's do the we'll do the art print now I'm kind of kind of get the glare off there see if I can get uh, this here you could have got three uh, art prints um, the other two were variants uh, one out of 25 I've got the one out of four 25 these exclusive fan art prints were inspired by the Joker hand signed and numbered um, by Terry Huddleston good job Terry um, and the variance is by Short Fuse Studios now this one is by Terry and the variance is from Short Fuse Studios um, I honestly am happy I got this one I mean I like the variance but um, Terry did a pretty pretty damn good job on these I've got 412 out of 425 look at his signature <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's a weird signature. Hey, good job, Terry. All right, and on to the prop. This was this is probably my favorite item, other than the autograph, obviously, because I'm an autograph collector. Now, I got to tell you that uh, Dark Matter props killed it on this. To me personally, this is probably the best prop they've ever done. Um, here we go. Get it out of the bag. Look at that. And it's sharp too. Look at the size of that thing. That is neat as hell. That is freaking awesome. Uh, this is a six inch Batarang and a scaled prop replica of the one used in Batman Forever. I like the chrome. That is freaking neat. Look at that. Try not to get my fingerprints on it. Awesome. Dark Matter props. You killed it on this one. Holy crap. That is neat. And that's solid steel. Pretty cool, Dark Matter. All right, and for the grand finale by process elimination, we all know that the autograph is going to be from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This bad boy is JSA certified, the world leading authenticator in the world, which we already know that uh, JSA is probably the leading in the world because I highly recommend JSA. Therefore, you should highly recommend JSA. <laughs> anyway, it is JSA. So this is the print I've got. Check that out. There is my JSA sticker. Um, this here is Christy Swanson from v Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, these 8x10s were hand sanded by Buffy Summers and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Christy Swanson. That is freaking neat. 
So basically you got all that for like $32 if you're a Zobie supporter. You cannot beat that. Um, there's no other box company, mystery box company out there that's holding a candle to us right now with the things that we're doing. And I don't mean to boast or, or brag, but I have every right to because it's the truth. Um, I'm going to flash the spoiler card up here real quick. All right, so let's start. Well, screw it. We'll, go to, we'll start from the top and go down. These 8x10s were hand sand by Buffy Summers and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 1992. Christy Swanson, you could have got three of what you see pictured. Um, this autograph was also authenticated by James Spence Authentication and includes sticker, hologram, and matching COA card. Um, we'll go down to the prints. All right, so you got the three prints. You could have got the one out of 425, the one out of 25, and the other one of one out of 25. These exclusive fan art prints were inspired by the Joker, hand signed and numbered. X out of 425 by Terry Huddleston and uh, X out of 25 variants by Short Fuse Studios. And then we'll move on to the 6 inch Batarang, which is scaled prop rep of the one used in Batman Forever 1995, created by Dark Matter Props. Good job. On down to the pins, these exclusive two inch pins were inspired by Zombieland, the 2009 movie, um, designed by Corey Kaufman, good job. And then also you look, uh, if you look, you can either got an upgrade or an Easter egg or something like that. Well, not an upgrade, but just Easter eggs on this one. Um, these Dobie print hand, sand by, hand signed by Care Edwards, the voice of our mascot, and metal trading card designed by Josh Lyman have each been randomly inserted in only 50 boxes. Watch out for these Easter eggs and bonus cards. All right, so there you have it. That is the October 2009 Zobie Pop Culture Mystery Box. I hope you enjoyed this month's. Um, I'm gonna flash uh, what what is gonna be to what is going what we are going to offer for December. Um, you can check that out here. I'm flashing it um, on the screen now. Um, it is National Lampoon's Vacation. I love that freaking movie. Um, growing up, we've got Marvel's Punisher, Stranger Things, and Star Trek Discovery. Um, that's going to be for December 1st, 2019's Zobie Mystery Pop Culture Box. But that's all I have. Thank you for tuning in. I am Audie the Box Auditor. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And that's it. I'm out.